Can you please state and spell your name for the record? My name is Kimberly Woodworth, K-I-M-B-E-R-L-Y, W-O-O-D-W-O-R-T-H. What is your occupation? Um, I, I work at Polaris. I work in assemblies right now. I did 30 years of child care before that. And were you familiar uh, with Alexander Woodworth? Yes, he's my son. And uh, where do you live now? Osceola, Wisconsin. And did Alex live most of his childhood all in Osceola? All his childhood, yes. And are you married? Yes, I am, to John Woodworth. And how long have you and John been married? Uh, since 1988, about 31 years. And did Alex have any siblings? Yes, he did. He has, um, he's the oldest. And then Sarah is his sister. And then Jordan and Nicole. I'm sorry, Jordan and? Nicole. And can you briefly describe your relationship with Alex? He was my uh, my best friend. I could talk to Are him about anything. Irrelevant? I'm an overrule. Noted. Go ahead. I could talk to him about anything and everything, just about everything. Um, he was very easy, very mature with his conversations. Um, I don't know. I, he's always been like that. And what were some of Alex's interests? He loved anything, um, I guess, nature. He loved anything that lived, moved, breathed. He tried to find uh, uh, understanding, even on bugs and spiders. He wouldn't kill them. He would capture them in a cup and bring them outside, and he'd try and explain that to others, too. So. And what would he do in his free time? Read, 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 read all the time, and write. And how frequently after Alex uh, went to college and graduated would you see him? I try and get down there at least once a month and we'd have either breakfast or lunch. And would you ever go to Racy's coffee shop? We did a few, uh, yeah, probably five, six, maybe seven times. And when you were with Alex, uh, did he talk to you about the defendant? Uh, very, he did, he mentioned her name a few times and said he, he thought she was very nice, um, easy to talk to, um, that she, she had some boyfriend problems and that he'd take night strolls with her and she'd just talk to him about it and he'd try and comfort her. And do you remember what your last conversation with Alex was about? Um, Objection, hearsay. Is there an exception? State want to be heard on that? I guess it's a, a topic. I mean, I'm not asking for the truth of the matter asserted. I'm asking. All right. I'm going to overrule the objection then. It's not for the truth of the matter asserted. We talked about taxes, his W 2 forms. I had received one in the mail and I had called him to, to let him know I had it and I'd bring it down to him. But I'd never got it. I don't believe I got it to him. Okay. And would you describe Alex as a person who was more concerned about himself or others? Um, he loved, he loved being around people. He couldn't wait to get to Racy's so he could have that environment and that option of talking to the people around him. And during his lifetime, did you ever <coughs> witness Alex be violent towards others? Never, not ever. He was always the person that people had got, in high school, he was the person that people would come to, to talk to. He was the listener. Me. I'm showing you what's been marked as exhibit number one. Uh, do you recognize this? That is my son, Alex Woodworth. Okay, and is it an accurate photograph of how you remember pretty, him? Pretty scruffy in that picture, but that's him. Can I request a published exhibit one for the jury? You may. Is that, what's the exhibit number? Uh, number one. Number one? Okay. Are you offering number one? Yes, it also will be exhibit one at the evidence. All right. Any objection? Exhibit one will be received. Uh, it won't fit on here. <coughs> I have no further questions. All right, any cross examination, Mr. Nelson? No, thank you. Okay, uh, Ms. Ruth, you may step down. Thank you. Can you please state and spell your name for the record? Joan Woodworth, J-O-A-N-W-O-O-D-W-O-R-T-H. 
And where do you live? Osceola, Wisconsin. And are you retired? Yes. What did you previously do for a living? I was an executive secretary. And were you familiar with Alexander Woodworth? Very familiar. And how did you know him? He's my grandson. And are you the paternal grandma? Yes. And how many grandchildren do you have? Four. Can you briefly describe your relationship with Alex? We had a really close relationship with us. He did. He um, came almost weekly while he was in high school and had supper with us. He spent time with us at our cabin. He was just generally with us a lot. And so when Alex moved to Eau Claire, uh, how frequently would you see him? We tried to make sure we always saw him once a month. And what would you do with him when you saw him? We would go out to lunch. We would see if he needed to go shopping for clothes or food and um, just spend an afternoon with him. And do you recall where Alex went to college? Yes, he went to Eau Claire. And uh, do you know what his major or minors were in? He had a major in philosophy and a minor in biology. And were you familiar with him um, being involved in the McNair program? Yes. And what is that program? McNair program was a grant program that was established for children who had um, who were very, very talented, but had no um, parents who had graduated, or I guess you'd say parents or um, immediate family who had graduated from a four-year college. And so he was um, inducted into that when he was, I believe, a junior. And then he was taken to different colleges where he would be introduced to them for the, uh, to go on to college. And he was also uh, went to different um, conferences where he gives speeches and that kind of thing. And then his uh, last year of school, he actually worked for the McNair program. He worked for one of his professors. And on February 17th of 2018, do you recall meeting up with Alex at his house? Yes. And uh, what did you do that day? We picked him up and we took him uh, to the family restaurant in um, Eau Claire for lunch. And then when you went to his house to pick him up, did you have to wait for him to come out of his house? Yes. And did you see anyone uh, exit his house while you were waiting for him? Yes. Uh, who did you see? Uh, Ezra. And is that uh, same girl you saw exit Alex's house on February 17th, 2018, present in the courtroom today? Yes, she is. Can you describe what she's wearing and where she is seated? A flowered shirt with a uh, peach colored sweater. Just in the record reflect, uh, the witness has identified uh, the defendant, Ms. McCandless. And prior to that day, did you ever see the defendant? No. Um, how would you describe Alex's demeanor with you uh, during that lunch? He was happy, very happy. He was tired. Um, he was very hungry, as usual, and um, just, you know, just more or less his usual self. And did he talk to you about his uh, feelings regarding the defendant during that lunch? Objection, hearsay. It's 90803 sub 3, a then existing mental or emotional condition. Objection. I'm going to note the objection and I'm going to overrule the objection. Just include also irrelevant his mindset on February 17th. Is not right. Relevant. So noted, overruled. <clears throat> so did uh, Alex talk to you about his uh, feelings regarding the defendant during that lunch? He was worried about her traveling back to um, Stanley that day because she had had car trouble. And she was texting him, and she mentioned that she had car trouble. 
and we asked him if we needed to go, you know, and see to help her. And he said no, that she said that she knew all the police officers between there and Stanley, and she wouldn't have any problem finding someone to help her. And that day that you took um, Alex to lunch, was that the last day you saw him alive? Yes. And um, did you ever offer to buy Alex a car? Yes. And did he want a car from you? No. Did he tell you why he didn't? He believed it was just too expensive to have a car at college. There weren't always places to park. And he didn't feel like he had the gas money or paying for insurance. We did offer to pay for his insurance and buy him a car. But he would always say, Grandma, walking is good for me. And can you describe Alex's character for me? He was a person that loved people. He loved children. He loved to be around children. He loved animals. He was very, very much into nature. He enjoyed being with family for like holidays. When he'd come home from college, he was <clears throat> always vibrant and telling stories and making everybody laugh. I have no further questions. All right, okay. any cross-examination? Oh, okay. You. All right, thank you, Ms. Woodworth. You may step down.